Okay, this is the fun one. We are given this polynomial and we are going to find all the real and complex zeros. And we will also indicate their multiplicities. I will explain this later. But to find a zero, of course, we put this to be zero and we go from there. So we are looking at x squared plus 4 times 5x plus 1 to the third power. And we set this to be zero. And this is already 530 for us. That's great. So we can just go ahead and say x squared plus 4 is equal to 0 and the other part 5x plus 1 to a third power is equal to 0. To solve this, we can just move the 4 to the other side so where x squared equals negative 4. And then we can just take the square root on both sides. This and that cancel and don't forget to include the plus or minus. From here, we actually get x is equal to we have two solutions here plus or minus and because we have the negative inside of the square root we get a complex unit here imaginary unit here and then square root of 4 is 2 so this is the complex 0 these are the complex zeros technically because of two of them 2i and negative 2i now for this it's a little bit strange because what's happening here is that when we have this to the third power, it really means what? It really means I dropped my marker. No, it means that we have 5x plus 1 times 5x plus 1 times 5x plus 1 equals 0. Yeah. And of course, we can just put one of them to be 0 because everything else is the same, right? Or you can just take the cube root. We can just look at things and put it down here. 5x plus 1, and we make that equal to 0. Solve it, minus 1 on both sides, divide the 5 on both sides, so we get 5, I was sure, 5x is equal to negative 1, divide the 5 on both sides, we have x equals negative 1 over 5. So, with that being said, let's have a look. Here are the zeros, and if you want to indicate what the real zeros are, that's okay. The real zeros are at negative 1 over 5. Yeah, it's just one of them, but actually happened it twice. And that's the idea of the multiplicity. And usually I'll just write M for multiplicity. How many times it happened? So I will just say M is equal to 3. And then we have the complex. And we have two of them. We have the 2i. And it just happened it once. So 2i, the M is equal to 1. And then we also have the negative 2i. In that case, m is equal to 1 as well, because it only happened in one time as well. So, I think this is how I will present the answer. That's it.